Hi guys, this is Fluke, and today we're going to be jumping into the disk part utility that can be found on the command prompt. The reason we're doing this is two stuff. One is I replaced a hard drive with an SSD earlier this week. And on the drive I wanted to use an external, I got a problem where it says GPT protective partition. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to remove that GPT part partition protection. Second thing we're going to do is we're going to make a flash drive bootable because these machines don't come out with CD drives anymore. So we had to reload it with a flash drive and we need to create a bootable flash drive. So as you can see on my screen, there I've got the two disks, disk 5 showing GPT protective partition. And you can right click this thing. No options. I can take it offline or convert to dynamic. It, it just fails. It doesn't want to do anything. I click yes there. As you can see, it just fails. And then this drive we're going to create as a USB drive and copy everything over. So start off, let's first open command prompt. Now command prompt for this to work, it has to run as administrator. So we're going to CMD, run as administrator, yes. Perfect. Once we're in there, I'm just going to move it up a little bit so that we can see what happens as we work. We're going to type in here, disk part. Sorry, that's one word, not two words. It will open that up for you. And then we're going to start looking at the correct disk. So first list disk. That will give us all the disks that's there. And it corresponds, as you can see, on the MMC console and my command from same thing. We're going to select, select disk 5. We'll type clean. And this should unallocate everything on there. From here, I'm going to go jump back into the uh, MMC console and let's quickly initialize the disk, disk 5, okay. And new simple volume, next, leave everything as default, H is fine, next. New volume, X, journal, next, finish. And there we go, GPT protection partition is now off the drive and we can actually start using the drive for the usb drive we're going to go back into the command prompt now we're going to go select disk 6 and please make sure you, you always select the right disk if you select the wrong disk and you format that disk it's it's recovery stuff that just takes ages to get okay so once we're in there now we're gonna clean it just so it cleans out everything as well as you can see once it's been cleaned we're gonna create a partition create partition primary partition created we're gonna format and i'm gonna format it as fat32 remember correctly is forward slash quick quick so obviously um, I don't remember my commands out of my head give me one second and I will quickly do that okay so that was our problem first we need to select select the partition Then we can format the partition, and this is the right command right over here. And the reason why I'm doing a FAT32 is depending on the BIOS that your laptop runs, it doesn't always like the NTFS partition. I, I can't tell you exactly why. When you go into Microsoft's site as well, it says when you use the UEFI BIOS, format the flash drive as a FAT32. It just makes the life easier when, when you're installing uh, Windows on it. I'm gonna click enter, that shouldn't take too long. Once done, I'm gonna click active. This is what makes it boot, so you can see, and exit, now we're done with that. Now the next thing we need to do is actually copy over the installations files to the uh, flash drive. So what we're gonna do is, I've got some ISOs here, so let's quickly mount an ISO. So I'm going to do a Windows, let's see, Windows 2019 evaluation. So I'm just going to bring it over this side, and you can see drive I 
and this is the files that's on the drive or the CD currently. Now to get the information from here, you can literally go copy and paste it over, it's not a big problem. But what I like to do is I like to use a, a program called RoboCopy. So I'm gonna just copy my command in here. And how RoboCopy works, it asks you RoboCopy where I'm copying from. So I'm gonna copy from I and to where I'm copying. So if I'm clicking here, I can see that's the E drive and they correspond. So RoboCopy I to E, Let's just close this over here. And I wanna mirror everything that's on top of that. Note this is case sensitive. If you use the lowercase mir, it doesn't copy everything over. If I use the uppercase, it copies everything over. So I'm going to go enter, oopsie, enter, and there you can see it will start copying everything over. Once that is done, literally all you have to do is plug it into your machine that you want to load with and make sure in the BIOS it's set to boot from USB. Sometimes it's called USB uh, hard drive. Um, just go make sure that it's allowed to boot from USB and you should be good to go. It should load without any issues. So guys, if you like this video, please click like, subscribe. If there's questions, send it through and I will try and assist you where possible.